The Canadian Premier League is back as round number two begins here in the Lower Mainland. It is the Willoughby Community Park that plays host and Vancouver FC roll out an unchanged starting 11. Ashvin Guppy thinking if it's not broke, don't fix it. And Patrice Geyser makes two changes to his starting 11 today. That is swapping Jeremy Gagnon, La Paree, and Giorgio Probo, Aiden Daniels, and Wes Timoteo on the lower main. It is 17 degrees at kickoff, and it is the hosts who get this match underway. The pink cherry blossom tops, they work from left to right on your picture in this first half towards the south end of the ground and Jan Filion's goal. Halifax with their new kits, the Harbour Blue from right to left, they will operate in half number one. Already on the back foot, here's Ben Fisk that tests Jan Filion 20 seconds into the match. But it seems as though Diaz hugging that near post a bit tighter to start. Let's see what other tricks they have up their sleeves here. In towards the six once again, met by a Wanderer's head first Nimic, I believe, and then Gunnar Lapare tries to head that back to Fillion, and pouncing on the loose ball is Rocco Romeo. A defensive miscue led to the corner. A defensive miscue leads to an absolutely simple finish for Rocco Romeo, who from maybe three yards out opens the scoring for the hosts. Halifax just causing their own problems. Give him up a corner kick. Caligari flips it up. Daniels chases after it. Aiden Daniels keeps it in play and finds Nimic. Much better build up there from Halifax on that right side. Rampersad had to play it the hard way. Advantage being played for Halifax. Daniels leading the blue surge forward, and he calls his own number, and it's the top netting that he finds just over the crossbar. Here we go, Vancouver. Another opportunity to show what you worked on in the offseason. It is Ben Fisk. The timing looks better. In towards the top of the six. Romeo gets his head to it. Dyer forces a mistake from Nimic. It's Dyer. He takes an extra touch. Dyer still has a shot on the post. Diaz on the rebound. It's 2 0 for VFC. An innocent enough looking play, and it is Alejandro Diaz, seemingly the only forward not to score on Sunday, off another brilliant effort from Moses Dyer. It's two for the Eagles, comfortably ahead at home. Dyer putting pressure on Nimic, stealing the ball off him, charging the goal. Back pass, anytime you see a back pass, you start to press, Dyer does. Great patience from Batars, he plays it to himself, Dyer is clear, there goes the ball, Moses Dyer, big stop from Fillion. Absolutely had to have that one as he denies the Kiwi from in close. Navarro, first to the loose ball and starts Vancouver back the other way. Huge counterattack opportunity for Vancouver. Navarro from Gabby Batar stops it up, tries to pick his spot and hits the crossbar. Navarro's first few touches could have been glory with a banger off the post as he makes himself known as he gets into this game. He maybe save some bodies for the cup game. A quick turnaround for them. Five days between games, but Cavalry even less time. Looking to clean, break up the clean sheet. Rampers out off the crossbar, then from the deck in for Fernandez. And that is Renan Garcia throwing himself in front of the rebound effort. Deep ball in, Irving makes the catch. And that is three halves of football now in a row with a clean sheet for Ashvin Guppy and his side. Callum Irving records his 24th in the Canadian Premier League, and it is a near perfect 2 0 and 0 start for the Eagles, who take care of business at home and get contributions from Rocco Romeo and Alejandro Diaz, his first of the campaign.
great defensively as well as they keep the Halifax Wanderers off the board for three straight hours of football to start their season. They will head home and look to try and turn the tides. But right now in Langley, it is all love.